Uh, today we're doing a little bit of an interesting video. We're going to go over my character sheet. This is my character for our D&D 5th edition campaign. Yep, this is a campaign that's now over. We... And this is less of a character sheet and more of a character binder. Yeah. Uh, we played this game for... Six years. About six years. So this was my character, Matthias Romando, and I, uh, I'm i sure that over the course of this, the audience is going to learn a lot about Matthias uh, and me, about how I organize my character sheets. Yeah. Uh, this is vulnerable. I'm opening up my uh, character for the world to see. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, this folder, really nice folder. I'll, I'll Maybe I'll leave a link in the description if, if you anyone can find wants it. to buy I mean, it. If, this is a great way to store your character sheet. A nice, it has a nice magnet seal here. Obviously, it's a bit old. Um, this is so extra. Nobody would ever need anything like this. But it's fun. <laughs> it is cool. You know, especially it if it's cool. a character you really care about. It makes me feel good as the DM. That's you know, someone actually cares about the game. Yeah. All right, so let's open this puppy up. All right, so obviously we've got a lot going on here on the front page. So I'll start over here. This came with a calculator. Uh, I wanted the one with the calculator because easy to calculate health. It's really fun. Uh, unfortunately, it did break a while ago. I can't remember what happened to it, but the screen's totally messed up. Like, I imagine it's nice to be able to put your phone down yeah. and not use and it. And also, other players would come to me for calculating their health. Really? Yeah. People are dedicated to not having their phones, huh? <laughs> I appreciate it. I do. Uh, okay, let's just start at the top left here. So first of all, we have this nice little pocket watch. Uh, my character is known for his mustache, so I got a pocket watch with the mustache. This comes from, we were at a Comic Con and I saw they had pocket watches. Um, my character's best friend, Edward Mann, my real life friend, Jacob, his character had a pocket watch. And I saw this vendor who was selling pocket watches, so I decided to buy him a pocket watch as a gift. So I actually gave him the pocket watch in character, uh, which was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool moment. And then I was like, uh, you know... But, you know, I got something for myself, too. And I pulled out the uh, mustache pocket watch, and it got a good laugh out of the rest of the party. I don't have anything in this slot. Originally, I had a expo marker there uh, to keep track of my health over here. I have, you know, these, uh, what do you call it? Sheet protectors. Sheet protectors. So you can uh, write on and erase your health and your death-saving throws, which... Oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll get to this oh in, my God. in a second. Uh, um... And then I have a Sharpie here just for a highlighting. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I said a Sharpie. It's Sharpie branded. Right, okay. Sharpie is actually is a Band-Aid scenario. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have a highlighter here just for highlighting uh, helpful notes. Uh, I have my notes section a little bit later on. Down here, this is where I kept track of my currency. Wow, did you actually use that? Uh, I ended up not using it as much because gold wasn't as important as we got into the later. Yeah, once you get to the later levels, you're kind of just rich. But this is a dry erase section. Uh, and you can see I have this custom printed out thing that says Oh, currency. you printed that? Yes. Cool. Uh, okay, so I have this thing in here somewhere. I don't know what this is exactly. We're going to unfold you got and it? Oh, find you got a bunch out. of crap in here. What's this? Hold on, we'll get to that. This is just a note. I don't know why I put it in here. Uh, oh, you're, you're covering you're things. You're, you're digging around in here. You gave me the belt of dwarven kind, so I got that. I actually had a couple magic items. I might have stored them somewhere else. Yep, they're in here. <laughs> what the frick? It's like a bag of holding in there. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> got Matthias' rapier in there too? <sighs> Holy crap. What the F? So this is how you gave out magic items? Yeah, I used to do note cards. Wow. This was um, back in the day. Being a, a bit of a, you know, neat freak in terms of my character sheet, I printed neat. out custom <laughs> cards for myself in the D&D style. That's cool. And then I have the Cloak of Billowing, of course, which billows as a bonus action. This is my actual character sheet. Thais Romando. Do you want to take it noble. out of the thing? Or is it like a comic book? You uh, gotta keep it preserved. We can take it out. I, uh, I just think it's funny how <laughs> blackened the area is here where I uh, wrote and erased so many times my current right. health. That's funny. Also, I had the belt of... Or, here, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Thais Romando, Human Noble, Rogue Swashbuckler, level 14. Uh, I was scared to get him to level 15. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, I had the belt of Dwarven Kind. Uh, which, you know, I would like to switch out my, uh, my magic items every now and then, uh, sometimes unequipping the Belt of Dwarven Kind whenever I was unattuned to it, it gave me less health. So I, you can see I have my maximum hit points, 114 with belt, 100 without belt. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also have that for my constitution. Oh, frick, that's funny, man. 
Uh, yeah, so I like to write out all my abilities. This is actually a custom rogue character sheet. You can see it says rogue at the top. Uh, we'll leave a link to those in the description. Uh, they have it for every single class. Pretty fun. Pretty useful. Yeah, very useful because it writes out all the abilities and then leaves you a place to write your specific archetype. Now, that didn't stop you from filling up that block, though, did it? Anything on the back? No, because it it is a... Back in the day, we didn't have these binders. We just wrote all the stuff we needed on the back of the sheet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I noticed you don't have in. the alignment filled out. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of alignment. All right, now if we turn the page... Obviously, I did this custom because I didn't need the back of the sheet. So this is, he has the feat Magic Initiate. He gets a few extra spells. He gets some spells. So I have his spells Minor Illusion, Vicious Mockery, and Disguise Self. Uh, and then oh, this here, is nice. this is my custom inventory sheet. You made this custom? I made this custom. I might be able to have a link to it. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see if I can. This is a very old sheet. You can see it's actually, most of it is ripped off the binder. Oh, frick. Uh, they make stickers. Stickers. To put on the hoops to repair. Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely would have needed those. Uh, so I have a section for armor, weapons. Pretty self-explanatory there. I also have a section for potions, <clears throat> where I have the potions and also how many potions that I have. Um, and then I have specific magic items. One of the most useful items I'd ever gotten that I used all the time is on here, the immovable rod. And then I have a section for miscellaneous. I found that was, I thought that would be really useful, so I just added, actually have two boxes for miscellaneous. This is Matthias Retorts. He had an ability like Vicious Mockery, and he had the ability Panache, which would basically be, he says, a funny one-liner. It turned out a lot of the one-liners I used just came up off the top of my head, but I like to have inspiration, and a couple of these I did use. I didn't know about this. And it has the D&D &D font as you well. You put a lot of effort into this, huh? Darn. Uh, <laughs> Well, oh my God! Uh, this is a breakdown of Matthias's character. Um, <laughs> this is just for me to help role play and also to uh, kind of see where I want to take his character. You have a, you see, I have a section with his uh, character arc here. It's that like uh, kind of you know where that, I wanted to take his character. You know that website, sixteen personalities. It's like you've got the breakdown here. Yeah, uh, this is actually based on uh, a class we took in college uh, about uh, writing. Oh. And breaking down characters. Okay. And I did that for my D and D character. It's worth noting I didn't do this at the beginning of the game. This is from uh, like three arcs in. You probably don't want to do this at the beginning. Yeah. Um, and also, like, I prepared so well for this, but also I couldn't account for the things that would happen in the campaign, and I took my character in different directions based on that. You got to be willing to change. Yeah. With certain things that happen. My notes have gone through uh, various different stages. You can see here it says season four notes, so I just started clean. Uh, this is my backstory. Formatted like a D&D handbook. Yes, I like to keep my backstories on one page mm. uh, for every backstory I do to keep it simple and easy for the DM. Uh, and I appreciate that. I also like to have it you know, in a fun format so it's easy to read. I don't care for players who do like 15 page backstories. Yeah, this was after maybe the first arc that I made this, and you had drawn a cool picture of him, so I put that in the backstory uh, format. Uh, and then on the back, I have a list of the characters in wow. my backstory. They're not all super important. Uh, it's just he has a big family, so I put his family members uh, in a little list. And then this is basically a previously for the previous arcs of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you are a nerd. Just for myself. Uh, so I have arc one, arc two, arc three uh and then this is after we finished the third arc you asked us all to make a little like what did you guys do in between kind of like there's a, a bit of a time skip kind of like a backstory but for you know existing characters so this is what mine is and this artwork you found really pit, fits him pretty well yeah right isn't it awesome yeah unfortunately he, he never he looks to... a lot like old man an old man matthias unfortunately matthias never became an old man because he died that would have been cool which we didn't we forgot to point out he does have all three death-saving failures bubbled in. That's what two not ones will do to you. Yes, sir. And then this section is for DM handouts. Of which I did a pretty good amount. Yeah, you you're, you do good with the handouts. The handouts are really cool. This is an update from uh, the major city. This is probably the coolest one we can talk about. Yeah. This is... you. <laughs> this sounds almost unbelievable, but you made a prop rapier for me. Yeah. And I thought it was awesome. I had it for so many sessions. In the hilt of the rapier, you had this rolled up, hidden inside it, which was so cool. And I found it on my own. 
Um, and this basically says that the sword is a super powerful, uh, potentially Tarask killing weapon from the gods. Now you read that and still thought you were not going to fight the Tarask. I mean, I thought it was too powerful for us to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on you to fight the Tarask in session one. And it was an epic battle. Yeah. We can show the, the video we have of us going inside it. So final battle of the campaign, here's the Tarask. Oh, we just and are... here's the inside of the terrace. <laughs> wow. uh, and then we have more notes. Some of these notes even are from other players who had written Matthias letters. Oh wow! That's from a journal. From uh, you wrote an entire journal for one NPC. Yeah, which was sick. Uh, later, one of the players transcribed it, so we could all see wow. it online. That's funny. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. This is a cipher from the most recent arc that we had to solve. Pretty cool. And then here's another note, just didn't have room for it. <coughs> this this handout's pretty nice, I'm this, happy with this This is one. a real nice handout. This will give some uh, envy to some players who don't have good DMs. And you'll notice I, uh, I went as far as not to staple it, but put a little cord. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, then these are my notes from like the first arc Back where I didn't day. have much of an organizational method. These are just kind of jumbled together notes that I Put it back here because they're not as necessary. And then I have something back here. I don't know what's back here. Let's find out. Oh, it's one of my older Ooh, character sheets. Oh, interesting. Um, Darn, that looks pretty old. This might be my original sheet. Uh, originally, Matthias was not a full rogue. He was a fighter rogue multi-class. Um, but then they came out with the swatch buckler, which was just perfect for Matthias. So I asked if I could respec into that, and you were nice enough to let me. And uh, my tracking of my XP and gold. We didn't. We used to do XP, but we stopped doing that at some point. Number of nat twenties. Oh rolled. wow! I kept track. Oh, and I kept track of my kills too. Cool. This needs to be in a uh, protective seal somewhere in the vaults. All right, it's hard to get in there. Come on. <laughs> protective seal, huh? All right. So that is my character folder. If you like this video, we got other RPG videos on the channel. Subscribe. Check them out. Thanks for watching.